right, GAT Math students. Um, this is a video for session, session six, um, expectations. Um, I'll try to make it quicker than the past ones. Many of you have been in school at GAP um, all year, so <clears throat> run through it a little quicker. But again, there's some people that are new. So uh, first of all, um, you may be watching this video uh, before um, pickup day and before you actually get your materials, but I'll show you how you can still um, do this first assignment without having that. But on pickup day, you're gonna get one or two folders. Um, if you're math 11, 12, you're gonna get a blue folder. It's gonna have um, our geometry packet. Um, so this session, you're gonna be looking at geometry. It's gonna have the syllabus, which we're gonna look at in a second. And it's gonna have a calendar behind that, okay, which I'll show you in a second. So there'll be three things, a packet, a syllabus or expectation sheet, and a calendar. Math 910, same thing, red folder. We are looking at the basics of data, probability, and stats this session. Again, um, expectations, packet or sheet, and a calendar, okay? So that's what you'll get on pickup day, all right? It's important to get to the pickup day and get those things. If you miss pickup day, you need to make arrangements right away um, to get those things, okay? All right, so uh, I'm going to now uh, share my screen so we can get going here on the main stuff you need to know. Um, we're going to go to this. Okay, so what you're looking at here is um, the expectation sheet or the syllabus. Um, two main things on here, like just like the other sessions. Best contact form is right here, the Teams chat. Just look for me if you don't know my name, it's Joe Ferraro, that'll be under the chat. You can text me on my school cell phone. Okay, those are the two best ways to contact me. <clears throat> um, so if you are having troubles with Teams, and this could be for any class, you can, I, there's a few teachers that are better at getting getting you help for that. Probably me and Regina. Um, you can contact any of them, but a lot of times they're gonna refer to me or Regina to help you with that. Um, so if you're having troubles with Teams, you can text me um, at my school cell phone. Um, class objective environment, I'm not gonna go over a ton of that, but it's not to be the best at math in the world. It's covering the basics for math and making sure you have what you need to be successful um, for a job or if you're thinking of going to col college, a college placement, but basically just life skills. So we're, we're going to touch on basics of a lot of things. So just like I said, 11, 12, this one is kind of the basics of geometry, 9, 10, basics of data, probability, and stats. Um, we're class environment, treating it as a job. You need to communicate. And, um, um, and, um, you know, check in like you would a job. If there's problems with your schedule or something, you need to communicate. Um, almost all problems can be avoided or solved by proper communication. Okay. If you're having problems getting things done for some reason, that needs to be communicated to me or other teachers. Okay. Um, and that goes for the subject work too. If there's problems in math that you don't understand, you need to ask, communicate, okay? Um, the two biggest things, I don't expect everyone to be great at math, but if you can communicate, meaning you know, checking in for attendance is a form of communication, the daily tasks, which I'll talk about in a second, is a form of communication, and then just have a strong work ethic. Get the work done. You're gonna get full credit, okay? Um, sessions versus quarters now at GAP. So you guys know this now. Instead of four quarters, we have eight sessions. You switch classes um, every session. So we now have three classes per session instead of six classes per quarter. Okay. Um, there are, instead of just one hour per class a day, like when we had six classes, each class is set aside for two hours a day because you only have three classes 
okay? So that kind of means in you're going to do what you would normally do in eight weeks. You're doing it in four, but you have twice as much time in a day to do it, okay? So, um, again, the, the most you would that I would ever expect you to do work in a class is two hours, okay? But if you're staying on track, you'll never have to do two hours of work in a day for the class, okay? If you're staying on task, you're looking at a half hour to an hour a day, um, if that, okay? Um, how you earn credit in the class. I changed it a little bit, kind of more specific for, you know, the distance learning stuff. 20% um, of your grade is just doing daily tasks. And what that is, is very short questions that I, I'll just have a daily question. Um, it could be a simple math question. It could be um, just saying like, when is something due? But then you just send me a text message um, or not a text message, a chat message on what the answer to that is. And I'll show you an example here in a second. 40% of your grade is notes. So just copying notes, okay? So really not much thinking involved at all there. Just copying the notes down. And those are videos, no, notes. I'll talk about that in a second. And then the other 40% is your tests. So what this means, and you guys need to understand this, if you do all your notes and daily tasks, so that means you get all the note, the daily tasks done, all the notes, you only need to average 25% on your tests and you can get full credit. Okay, so really understand that. Okay, you don't even have to pass all your tests to get full credit if you're doing all the little things, which are your notes and daily tasks. Now, if you start missing a bunch of the daily tasks and things, then that's going to change. Okay, you'll need to do better on your tests. So this is how you earn credit. This is no different. Okay, the total percentage in the class. Um, and then that is adjusted based on attendance. Okay, so if um, you have 90, you're supposed to have 90 or above for attendance, which is about missing four days. Um, if that, um, it's probably more like three days. Um, and then if you your attendance drops lower, then you're going to lose credit from whatever you earned up here. Okay, so if you earn full credit up here, you get maybe 80%, but your attendance was also 80%, it's going to drop 0.25, okay? So that's important to know. And attendance is super easy. It's just checking in, and I'll show you that again in a second, review that. So again, key things here, same as a lot of other times, lessons will be pre-recorded. You can watch them whenever you want, but try to stay on task, okay, and stay caught up, okay? In that packet, you're going to get a hard copy. That's your notes and examples packet. Okay, and you're just going to copy the notes down you see in the video. Okay, you do not need to do all the problems. Okay, so that's what it says here. Okay, however, I do suggest that you do practice some of them because that'll help in getting ready for the tests. The answers to the problems are at the end of each section. So you can check your understanding. I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> so if you're practicing some of the problems we didn't do, I didn't do in the video, you can check and see if they are correct. If you're not getting them correct, you can ask me questions. That's when you should ask me questions. Okay. Um, another key thing here, um, I will be available during our class time for any help and questions. So the best time if you're in math 11, 12 to ask questions is 8.30 to 10.30. If you're in math 910, the best time is 1030 to 1230. Okay. Now you could go vice versa. If you're up early and you're in math 910 and you have a question, go ahead and ask me. Okay. If I'm already working with someone in math 1112, I may tell you to wait, but I, I will get back to you. After 1230, it may take me longer to get back to you. That's when I record videos or I have meetings. Um, I still will get back to you, but um, you may need to wait longer before I get back, okay? Um, 
another key thing here if you need in-person help with either technology or the math work, you can ask me to set up a time to meet at GAP, okay? Or just in general, if you want a place to come study and you want to be away from home, you can ask any of the teachers. And there's certain times where there will be teachers here that you can come in and um, get help or just have a place to be, okay? You need to check with us first because we can't have everyone come, okay? There has to be a teacher here and there has to be room for whoever's coming okay don't don't forget to check in for daily attendance okay all you have to do is go to the attendance check-in and type here okay uh, again i'll review that in a second um i'll review this whole yellow section here in a second but it's make sure to check both check both the general channel and your chat messages daily this is very important the general channel will have the to-dos for the day and often include an easy daily task, which is worth 20% of your grade. I will often send you a chat message, send you chat messages about your progress in the class along with any individual communications needed. So I'll go through here in a second on what you should do daily, um, but this is important, okay? Um, nothing new here. There'll be a lot of smaller tests. Um, I think there's five tests through the session. Um, you could test out a topics, meaning if you ask to test out of a test before I post the notes for it, and then you pass that test, which needs to be done in one day, you don't have to do the notes for that section. Okay. Um, but that has to be done before to be able to be excused from notes, you would have to test out of it before I post the notes and pass the test, pass all the sections of the test. So um, you can always retake any tests or do corrections on tests for any of the topics you don't do well on, but it's up to you to ask for that opportunity, okay? Um, and then again, this most likely is not the ideal learning environment for any of you, okay? So we're still doing distance learning. Um, it looks like, you know, Things are getting a little closer to be back to normal, but they're not yet. Um, and you still have a really good opportunity to earn your credits here, especially the way I'm grading this session. 20% daily tasks, 40% notes, and then 40% tests. So um, make sure you're doing the two things I mentioned on the other page. Communicate and have a good work ethic. If you do these, you'll be successful. Okay. Um, if you go into your Teams, okay, so you click on Teams, this will look different than yours because um, I have the ones I teach here. Um, but you may have last sessions and this sessions. Remember, if you want to get rid of last sessions, go on these three dots and just hit Hide. Here, hit Hide. And you can reorder your sessions too. If you want to put them in order, like this one would be first block. If this class is my second block, you can just move them around like that. Okay, next thing I wanna show you is just what this section or this session's Teams page will look like. And then I'll kind of go through the process of what you should do by looking at an old one. So Math 9, 10 is, looks the same way as this. There's a general, there's attendance, there's a calendar, and there's video notes, okay? I have posted the syllabus here, which we just looked at. If you wanna click on them and blow it up, um, you can um, and read there. It's also in the files. If you click on files, if you um, you know if you're going to do this video and video test before you get your handout, you can click on this and again you can blow it up. I think yeah, like like that. Um, attendance check-in. This is where you go and. Each day you go here and just click here and you're done. Okay, here's the calendar. It's, you can click on it and blow it up. Um, you can also click on files at the top, but because this is a little cloudy here, let me, let me pull it up here. It's a little easier to see. Um, what you'll see is, Hopefully you're watching this on one of the first two days of the session. 
And then the, the process that we will do, if you want to stay on task, is I will post the video notes that shows what objectives you're doing. So math 11, 12 will be one through four, nine, 10 is 113 to 115. Okay, so that's what notes will be posted. So I give you one day just to copy the notes. That's it. Then I give you the next day to practice problems and ask questions. That's it. And then another day to test. Okay, you need to ask for a test after you do the notes. I won't just send you tests without you asking when you feel ready. Now you could ask for a test, even on the, if you watch the video and you feel you're good on Wednesday here, you can ask for the test. Take it and you don't have anything these days then. Okay, that's the process. So it'll be, I'll post notes, you get a day to prep. So you get that day to copy the notes, you get a day to practice, you get a day to take a test. If you stay on that pattern and then that just repeats, you won't get behind and the class won't be that difficult. Okay, the last week, so there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five tests. I even put a couple work days in at the end here. So the 31st of March is a work day. The last day of the session is April 1st. All work is due at 3, or the last communication I will do on that day is 3 p.m. The work is due by midnight that night on April 1st. Spring break begins on April 2nd. So we have April 2nd off and that whole next week of April. So there's our calendar. Okay, um, since I'm on this page, I'll just show you the packets. So remember packets look something like this. These objectives would be the section. So the first section there is one through four. First section here is 113 through 115. At the end of a section, there's the answers to those problems, okay? And again, they don't go in order, they go by groups of types of problems. Okay? And I'll talk about this more in the notes videos, but like number one, <clears throat> you'd find here and there's answer, number two, there's answer. Um, and this is just for the ones that are in your practice and examples packet, okay? So I'll go through that more. Um, the video notes will be posted on this page, which I'll show you on a, my last sessions in a second. Okay. So if I go back here, just to show you what you should do on a daily basis, I'll go into one of my um, old sessions pages. So you can see from day one, there's a bunch of to do's. Okay. So I'll just pick a day. Um, so if this was the day, you'd go here and you're going to read. Okay. Here, people were just weren't doing the daily tasks, um, so I put missing easy points. I might put the schedule up for the week, what it looks like, and this is the steps you take. So the first thing you're going to do after you read this is check in for attendance. So you'll click on there and check in for attendance. I usually write what assignments we've done so far, so if you're not caught up, you should be doing whatever I list here. So again, this is for last session. This isn't right now. Um, then I'll put the new thing for the day so like on this day if they're caught up they should be doing the video notes um in this case 38 through 39 and then usually the fourth thing usually it could be different but this this is where the daily task is okay so this day it was just a question a little math question okay other days it might be um that's a little math question but it could be something not even to do with math um, like here, it just says, answer this question in a chat message to me. How much credit are you trying for and willing to do the work for in this class? So if you're really striving for full credit, you would have wrote me that and said you're going to be willing to do that work. And that's all you have to do. So again, you'd go in this order. You would check in for attendance. You go in here. Okay, you just go here and click here, and you're done. And I might send you a little message back or just a thumbs up. Um, video notes, if, if the direction said do video notes, you would go here and the video notes would be under here. They're all YouTube, so you can click on YouTube and, and do the work. Okay. Um, 
and copy the notes. Okay, and it explains what you need to do for that. Um, also, check your chat messages. So you should be going to your chat messages anyways to write me for the daily task. Um, but sometimes I'll write like a group um, message to everyone in the group, you know, just saying like, you know, if I'm going to be unavailable for a certain time or things like that. Okay. Also, what shows up here is just a reminder that, you know, if you're contacting me 8.30 to 12.30, I'll respond shortly. If it's 12.30 to 3.30, I'll respond when I get a chance. Um, if it's a non-school day or between 3.30 at night and 8.30 the next morning, I'll respond when I can. Okay, for sure by 9 a.m. the next day. Okay, so that is what you should be checking on every day. Okay, um, I think that should be it. Um, now, after this, you watch this video, I should have a post on the normal teams page. So one of these, so you've already seen this and the video that you're watching was posted under this one. And then I'll have a little test that you're just gonna answer some questions on this stuff. Um, and um, you get points for that test, just like any other test. So, all right, I think that is, it. Um, if there's any questions, if there's something I didn't quite cover here or something, let me know right away. Okay. All right. So again, if you have questions, let me know.